Very useful, little children. Today, I want to remind you of the power that you have in creating your rules. See, while you go along the journey, you build your own experiences. And through that experience, you learn. You learn about yourself. You learn about the outcome for choices that you make. And you learn about the direction in which you want to move along your journey. Now, when you're creating your own rules, it allows you to explore your journey as you see fit. The opposite of this would be following the rules. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I simply want to remind you of the power that you have over what you do along your journey. See, we're taught no matter what uh, culture, no matter what environment that we're in, we're taught directly or implicitly the rules that must be followed. And there's a time and place for that. But I believe that no matter what environment we go into, we learn so many of these different rules and how to operate that we forget how to trust ourselves and create our own rules. And that's okay. I'm not condemning either. But there's a simple understanding that the more we create the rules for ourselves, the more we understand who we truly are and what thought processes we are using while we operate along our journey. Some things we change because we're always changing. Some rules we hold near and dear, almost to our detriment. This is a reminder that anything can be picked up, can be let go. Keep it simple. It's not about it being easy or difficult, but keep it simple. Remind yourself that if there are things that you tolerate that you no longer want to tolerate, you can break those rules. You can change those things about yourself that allows you to tolerate. It doesn't mean you have to change anything else, anybody else outside of you. It's all about your world within. It's all about properly responding instead of reacting. It's about knowing that once you play somebody else's game, you're giving away your power. It's about truly settling into who you are, which is not this physical entity. You are a spirit of God. You are a child of God, however you would like to identify. That means God lives within you and is expressed in each and every choice that we make. So with that being said, you do inherently create your own rules. Now you can do whatever you see fit. That's the beauty of it. Sometimes it may be uncomfortable. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes the outcome is enlightening. That's okay as well. But the point is best to remind you of not only that power, but the beauty of it all. See, even when we have missteps or mistakes and we hold on to things that aren't serving us, knowing that we can change the outcome so we don't have to revisit the previous, it's not only empowering, but it allows us to express in a more complete fashion because we've seen both ends. We've seen the things go right. We've seen things go wrong. It's a beautiful evolution. I think it's a good point to leave it for now. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.